Hi, I'm Jen, and this is Heather, and we're health promotion specialists with the Gallatin City County Health Department. Today we're going to talk about contact tracing. Hi Heather, how are you? Hey Jen, I'm good, how are you? Good. So in the news we're hearing a lot about contact tracing and the way that health officials are tracking the spread of COVID-19. What exactly is contact tracing and how does it work? So contact tracing is really a series of four steps. It begins with what we call case identification. So when a test is confirmed positive, the lab then contacts the local health department to notify them of the person who is positive. The health department that are trained in contact tracing protocols, which are often public health nurses, then initiate interviews with the person who had the positive test. So the interview begins with questions to determine when the person who tested positive first experienced symptoms. Once they determine when that symptom onset was, they can begin figuring out who the close contacts were. So close contacts are currently defined as an individual that was within six feet of the person who had a positive test for 15 minutes or longer, up to 48 hours before their first symptom. And there normally are just three people who do this work, but since COVID-19, we've had to add on five more to try to initiate the interviews and then do the third step, which is to notify close contacts. So this is done carefully because we want to avoid unintentional disclosure of protected health information. Close contacts are not told who they were in contact with or how they were exposed to the virus. They are simply told that they were exposed and instructed in symptoms to watch for and how to maintain necessary quarantine so that they don't continue to spread the illness. In the event that the exposure took place in a workplace setting, the health department staff may contact management of that workplace, but only if they get permission of the person who tested positive. Okay. Yeah, and then the final step, which is kind of the difficult part because normally we would tell people to get vaccinated or to seek treatment, but because COVID-19 doesn't have a vaccination yet, we have to tell the close contacts to quarantine for 14 days. During this time, health department staff check in regularly to see if any symptoms have developed, and if they have developed, they refer the close contact to a testing center. Uh, case managers and volunteers are also available to deliver food and medications and any other essentials that a person may need during their quarantine, or they can connect that person with resources during their quarantine if they need it. Great. That's mm -hmm. fantastic. Why would you say contact tracing is important? Contact tracing is critical to quickly and efficiently identify who has COVID-19 and prevent further spread of the disease. So the CDC currently estimates that up to 40% of transmission occurs before the first symptom. So that's why it's really important to identify who those contacts were and quickly get them quarantined. Because you can imagine that someone who was in contact with someone, so within six feet for 15 minutes or longer, prior to symptom onset, if there were a lot of people, it can increase exponentially the number of cases. Okay. How do I know if I'm a close contact of someone who is ill and what happens then? So if you're identified as a close contact, a public health nurse from the Gallatin City County Health Department will be reaching out to you to inform you that one, you were exposed and two, that you need to start quarantining for 14 days. During that 14-day period, they will check in with you regularly to see if you've developed any symptoms. If you have developed symptoms, they may refer you to get tested. Okay. So how does the Gallatin City County Health Department protect patient privacy? So the name of the person with the positive test result is not shared unless they give permission to share their name with their close contacts. So when contacts are contacted by the health department, they are told that they were exposed to the virus, but they're not told who exposed them or how they were exposed. So we only give out that individual's information if they give us permission to do so. We follow current COVID-19 prevention protocols um, that ensure privacy of that individual. Great. So if I were to test positive, what information is released to my close contact? So again, we will not tell your close contacts your name unless you give us permission to do so. We'll merely reach out to your close contacts and let them know that they were exposed and inform them on how to quarantine safely for 14 days. Great.
Thank you. Yeah.